again. Um, last time on uh, on on in the game, uh, you made your way deeper into the jungles of Cholt. You managed to use the abilities of the Forge Cleric to kind of craft uh, a a canoe out of uh, bits and pieces you had around and kind of this grass canoe burst from essentially essentially nothing um, and you carried on down the river as you carried down this this very slow meandering river you came across something on the side of the river you decided at the end of the night to kind of moor up near near a riverbank and decided to stay there um, and as you were kind of bedding down, you noticed something, a camp, an abandoned camp. No bodies or anything nearby, but you slowly investigated it. Just before a creeper vine was going to ensnare, I believe it was, uh, I think it was Dean who was going to get snared by this horrible thing, grabbing him and trying to take him under, he noticed the last minute and jumped back to the boat quickly. Uh, you quickly escaped and carried on down the river as your companion uh, severed the connections between the uh, the boat and the shore and you sailed away as the vines were too slow to keep up. After that, you found somewhere else to rest in the boat and stayed there. Um, and managed to get a decent night's sleep. Although the next morning, a purple fog rolled in, and you went into it. Most of you were okay, although one of you feels a little funny. But at the moment, it's not exhibiting any effects. Um, you carried on farther and came across an abandoned camp, Camp Righteous. Uh, your orc guy telling you, or sorry, half-orc guy telling you that this is where the the first attempt by um, the Order of the Fist attempt to uh, create a forward base camp in the jungles. Unfortunately, it looks like it's failed. She also mentioned a story about the man and the crocodile and the shrine that imposes its will upon here. You investigated and after a number of traps realized that by by having one of you stand on top of the shoulders of the other, you can bypass most of them and go through unscathed. The last thing you did is you climbed a very narrow staircase to the very top of a dinosaur bone filled room and came upon a many stoppered jug and you had just reached out to grab it where the session ended. That's where we'll begin. So remind, remind me if I'm wrong. It's Joseph Spinman. No, it's Mark on top of Joseph Spinman. See the way around. Yes. And Mark is the one who had grabbed the jug. How can? How do you picture effing Mark carrying Cat. me? Well, if he was using his psychic abilities, he could do so. His mystic abilities, he would be able to carry you. I don't. I don't, I don't think that's true. I, I pictured a psychic Actually, ability. Actually, so. yes. I could. He could have. He did. He chose not to. Like a mage hand string. No. Uh, no he's actually. Abilities. Yeah. He's got different. Yeah. He's got different abilities that allow him to do certain things. But anyways, I digress. So Mark, you kind of cautiously reach forward this jug and you've picked it up. You side eye yeah, glance around. And he so I decided to grab the jar. Yes, yeah. yeah, so you grab the jar, pull it free. You listen for a second. As the sand comes down from above, but nothing happens. I guess we just leave then. Those of you who are outside, can you make me perception checks? Statue comes I, alive in each year. I believe that is Nicholas and Alduis. Was Nicholas uh, looking at the blade traps? Uh, yeah. Well, you're close enough to outside. More like not in the not in the treasure room. Seventeen. What did you say, um, Nicholas? I didn't hear it. Ten. Ten. Okay. 
I, you don't hear anything. Um, Alduis, you're all the way outside, though. So you're kind of just standing near the entrance, kind of waiting for your friends with the, the half-orc. Um, waiting. I'm a bit crouched over. I'm, I'm a bit fucking tore up, aren't I? So. Yeah, you are pretty badly. From the tree line, um, kind of up, up in this direction, you oh, spot just quickly what looks like a wooden mask and then it darts behind a tree very quickly. Uh, I've been suspicious there. Yeah, I'll just gonna keep like watching where it was, but he's not gonna shout out anything immediately. Okay. But uh, he'll kind of signal to the the half orc to stay quiet and like point out like the area so that she's aware of you know what's going on as well. She's <sighs> Something out there, the tree line. I could have swore I saw a mask. Huh? I'm not sure. Mask? What kind of mask? I wouldn't. That's a problem. Did do, do you know what it is? Maybe. Could be. No. No, as in you, you don't know, or no, it can't be what you're thinking, no, or? I don't know. I don't know this area well. Best stay cautious. Nicholas, we may have company. You say that into the further area. Um, what are the two people in the treasure room doing? Leaving. Okay, so you make your way down the stairs. You're still you're still strapped to each other, so you don't need to make a check. Um, as you kind of these are very narrow stairs, you're kind of like being very careful. And every time there's like a point when you might slip or might kind of like jerk yourself, the fact that you've kind of roped yourselves together keeps that from happening. So you make your way all the way down. You kind of make your way out to the the main area. Um, you just want to just kind of like come back through the treasure rooms quickly, um, through the trap rooms basically. Yeah, it's scared of the blade traps. So the only, the, uh, the only, pretty well, yeah, the only check I need you to make is you make your way across the blades, you make your way across the the stone tiled floor. Nothing happens. You make your way across where the blade traps are, and you see Nicholas on the other side. He's kind of, he looks like he's trying to jam the um, the mechanisms. Are you going to wait for him to finish, or what are you doing? So you can like Nicholas a jug. Well, that was worth it. It's got honey inside. I've got like a screwdriver in my mouth. Yeah. <laughs> a spoon with Biscoff spread. What that you was doing? worth it. I'm trying to fix it. Okay. Uh, make another. Make a. Um, make a dex straight dexterity check. Oh, or man. you can you can use a tink tinkering check as well if you want. Because you got if you got you have that I think. Then it's a twenty-two. 22. Yeah, you jam another one of the, the mechanisms. The blade just kind of gets... You hear the, the grinding behind it. And, it, and it's stuck. But yeah, you guys are going to make your way through. Is it safe now, Nick? Ah, uh, one of them is. Oh, you've jammed two blades, I if think. If you stay along this side, it should be alright. As a horn blasts out from the the I tree it was line. A wolf. No, that's sounds like a wolf. Uh, it, it has in there. As it like ready, though, Aldous is gonna um, ready uh, firebolt in his hand in case okay. anything pops up. As you're kind of readying your firebolt, you begin to see at the tree lines where the the forest, the the jungle, kind of ends. The trees above them are moving and parting. Something big is coming towards you. And emerging from one of the um, from the trees, I'll do it over here because that makes no sense. Is that bird we say? Okay. 
It's a very That's large. Not a bird. That is not a bird. That one is. That one is a bird. Nailed it. Is a number of large creatures. Do they look in charge? Do they look like they're in charge? Yeah, large and in charge. Uh, sure. Knew it. Which one looks especially in charge? Um, they're not- they don't that seem to be having any kind Charles. of in charge. They're just charging <laughs> towards you. large? Um, so this- the front one is about... If I port... poke my head out the side of this temple, can I see them? Yes. They are easily- they tower. Inside the temple. Yeah, they tower over the- the tops of the tents as they come charging through. Um, it's seemingly called by whatever the sound was that came out from the forest as they come charging towards you. I'm gonna need initiative from everyone. Can we move ourselves to the blade trap then? Yeah. Where we are. So. 19. 19 for Nicholas. <laughs> well, that's good. Us. D for Aldis, 8 and 19. I'll roll for your orc friend. Wow, she rolled shit. Okay, so that's a new page. So, there's two. Okay, so I'll source. Okay, so uh, Nicholas is the first to go. As this combat begins, you're kind of hearing this large, scaled creature, red scales with like a kind of like gray undertone. It's got large, pointed teeth and huge, huge claws as it comes charging through the through the jungles. It's quite far away from you now, but you can easily see this thing. Well, I don't feel threatened by it, so I'm just gonna chill out and wait for Mark and the thingy to cross. Okay. Uh, that is your... Mark and my friend. <laughs> Forgot uh, your is... name, Joseph, my bad. Joseph Spinman, the fastest hammer in the East. Okay. Uh, oop. Sending order. There we go. Next. Is, uh, no, that is, yeah, that's Joseph Spinman, yeah. Joseph Spinman, what are you doing? You're you're the the carrier. Is the bridge? Is the ladder still across the pit? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Nails, move your guy. My dude. <laughs> move your me guy, dude. All right. I've lost my character sheet somewhere. Give me a second. I've lost <laughs> it. It's right there. <laughs> no, because I click it to minimize it, and I think I accidentally clicked the X. Okay. Oh. There's something else there as well. I don't want to cast. Um, where's that spell? I did not drag in from last time. Give me a second. I want to cast a shield of faith on myself. Okay. Cast Shield of Faith. A molten bubble forms around me and then this appears. So this molten bubble appears. <laughs> it's like semi transparent, so. I get two AC. Okay, so you add two AC to your total. That's a bonus action, I think, for Shield of Faith. No. 
yeah, it's a bonus action. Okay, so you still have your action and your you've moved it's kind of to see what's going on as you peek your head around the corner. These al this Allosaurus is charging towards you along with these two bird-like creatures. It looks like a very large version of the one of the um, the creature you kind of released earlier. What's an Allosaurus? Very large dinosaur, kind of like a T-Rex, but its arms are longer. And they can definitely use, it's got talons instead of like useless little appendages. Still a top tier apex predator, but nowhere near as imposing as the T-Rex. T-Rex is even bigger than he is, but it's like a smaller version. If you think of it that I'm way. I'm take the dodge action. Okay. You take the dodge action, so you wait and kind of watching the Allosaurus and that two axe speaks as they come barreling towards you through the, through the thing. That's your turn done. Uh... Next is I think it's Aldous. Um, what, what can I see? Can I see anyone like like on top of the things, or is it just the things themselves? Make a perception like, check. Is, is there any riding them, yeah. Make a perception check. I just want to see if they're like are they just wildly moving through or not. Nineteen. Nineteen. So you you look around you and look at the tops and kind of try to check to see. They don't look like they're being ridden by anything or don't have any harnesses um, that you can spot. But as you kind of looking around, you see, again, those masks. They're being less hidden now. They're much more visible and they're kind of watching what's happening. One of them has on the, their side a small, like a large horn that looks like it was like, uh, um, uh, like a, a horn you would blow to... to to, to cause that sound kind of thing. Um, I'll just look to everyone. Do, do we run? Do we... What's our, what's our plan here? What, is he gonna climb <laughs> the feet of these statues? <laughs> Was the orc gonna say anything? We can kill them. Dice was on that enough. I'm gonna kill a dinosaur. We should just sit in here and wait for them to pass. I, I don't think they're gonna pass. I think we're the focus. Well, the dinosaurs can't get in here, so we sit in here and wait for them to enter. Sounds good, so... Everyone back through here? When you wanna jump in the pit? I meant more crossover it. Uh, but yeah, I'll, uh, I'll just ready. I'll just ready my fireball in case anything tries to walk up the stairs. Can I see a way to reset the pit? Um, make a make a perception check. I'll let, I'll let you do that on. It's not your turn, but yeah, I'll let you do that. Um, it's an eighteen plus something. Okay, so you look around, kind of looking at the the various mechanisms. Uh, that you nineteen. Think. Okay, so you think you think the mechanisms that are in place. Um, you reckon it's magically triggered, so if you could find some way of kind of um, forcing that, you maybe think that Alduis might be able to do it, but you don't know. You'd have to. It, it's more of a wizardy thing than. You can on your turn. I'll let you roll an Arcana check if you want to try to figure that out. Okay. So, that's your turn done. First Axe Beaks goes. Okay, so, the two Axe Beaks, they come f charging out of the, the woods. One of them begins moving as fast as it can. How, can, how fast do you move? Uh, you move really fast. As it charges through the forest, crashing and crunching through, even like the uh, the animal pen, as it comes through, um, is it going to use its full? Yeah, that's the only thing it can do. So it sees a threat. Okay, so yeah, it's going to move up to there, and that's as far as it can go. Um, now it's your big turn, isn't it? Then the Allosaurus moves. Okay, so you firebolt. Uh, which one did you want to firebolt? The axe beak or the allosaurus? Uh, 
Um, ah. Are they both like? They're both. Char they kind of charged up at the same time. You got a choice of targets. They're kind of like pff, just moving as quickly as they can. Uh, I'll hit the 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 blue fucking thing. With the axe beak. Yeah, you... that one. Okay, go ahead. Uh, yeah, so as it's running up, I'll, like, the fireball I had ready in my hand, I'll just throw it, like, try and baseball pitch it into its fucking head as it runs up. Okay, go ahead, roll for an attack. That hits, for sure. Go for damage, nine, so... <laughs> you throw this fireball as it's coming crashing through. <laughs> hey, don't forget to make the effects up. Fuck's sake. Where is he? That one. That one. <laughs> X. By enhance your immersion. Yeah. Choose a source. Boop. Choose a target. Boop. Something else, too. Uh. <laughs> burst? A missile. There we go. Missile. Submit. Fire. Submit. <laughs> there you go. So the fire <laughs> whips out, crashes into the axe beat's side. <laughs> Screens a chunk out of its flesh as it burns off. The smell of like almost cooked chicken comes off of him. Um, you do nine damage to him. So that's. Oh no, that's on. That's on. Okay. Um, the Allosaurus comes charging in. It can only get that far. The other Axe moves. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eight, eight, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. They move there. There we go. Um, yeah, she's kind of crashing through the camp, crushing all of the rest of the like um, uh, tents and things as they come crashing through. Um, so that's there. Go. I don't know. Uh, it's now Mark's turn. I don't like these guys. Um, Mark is going to let me just scroll through to get to the right thing. He's going to hit the axe beak in front of him with a moon dagger, but he's also going to uh, use a brute force before that. Okay. It's a brute force, so. Uh, when I hit a target with a melee attack, I can activate the ability as a reaction. The target must succeed on a strength save or be knocked 10 feet away from me. Okay, so does that have a size limit? Or is it just getting knocked away? Ew. Okay. Okay. Also, target uh, if it hit, if it hits anything after being pushed, it takes one d six. Okay. So well, let's hope I uh, hit this thing to start with. I'll use yeah. my daggy. Okay. No. <laughs> I, I do not hit this. So the you thing doesn't even trigger. You build up this huge strength and <laughs> the axe beat kind of just and dodges back, and then he's ready to kind of go at you the next kind of time it gets a chance to. You can't move because you are lashed to the person below Piss you. Off. Um, Get out. Go! Uh, that's your turn done. The orc, who I don't... I thought I had a token for her. Where did she go? Oh, well, maybe I didn't. Dead, man. Dead. Not you dead. Dead. I might have moved You her. didn't drag it onto this one. Oh, I might not have, yeah. Uh, we'll give we'll give her this token, just because that way I can have something. Give her fence full. Uh, she is going to charge forward and attempt to. She just leaps forward onto this Allosaurus and grabs like tries to grab its neck and reach around and kind of just go for like a like just like start wailing on this thing. First thing she does is grapple. She succeeds. Wait, yeah, she succeeds. She <laughs> And she just starts wailing on this. And she misses with the attack and kind of just bounces off at one of the thing's tooth teeth. Uh, but she looks like she's ready for a fight. Um, that's her to go. She's kind of attached to him. She is grappled to him, so his so he's like that. Cool. Uh, it is now Joseph Spinman. I thought Dean was performing. Oh yeah, sorry. Okay, um, I'm gonna do that Arcana check. Okay, so make yep, not make twenty. Not twenty. So you look at the you look at the the kind of arcane runes that are kind of slowly beginning to form. You reckon you can reset the pit trap? 
all you need to do is just say, I want to reset the pit trap, and you can just go, and you can just push the magic in the right spots and kind of go, and the thing does it. it takes right, a couple so seconds. So. I'm going to go across the ladder first. Okay. So you hudge, hudge across the ladder? Do I know that it would trigger... That would you fall through if you were on someone's shoulders? Make an intelligence check. Well, I understand the magic, but it's a 17 plus... Plus... Three, so 20. Right, yeah. You reckon all of the traps, based on what you've seen so far, all of the traps in this area are only triggered by the people who are not on other people's shoulders. Right. So, and you've blocked off two of the blades in this area, so you're okay where you are right now. But if you take another step back, you would trigger the blades, the two remaining <laughs> ones that you haven't disabled. I'll do a get on Silver's shoulders, and then I reset the pit trap. Okay, so and the pit trap. You told me to get on her shoulders. <laughs> well, she can't down. get on yours. She's on a. She's there. <laughs> and he's like pointing to the fucking dinosaur. <laughs> and the the di the dinosaur is trying to reach and grab her off of him, and just like. <laughs> um, Not my problem. Uh, uh, also, did that use my action? Or? I will say that used yes because you took the time to kind of. Uh, do that, and then you... Oof, ching. You have a bonus left, I'll give you that. I don't have shit for a bonus. Okay, so yeah, you can't do it. I start preparing to cast Identify as a ritual. <laughs> 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 right. Anyways, uh, so that's your go, Joseph Spinman. Alright. If I move away from an enemy, is he gonna attack me or Niels? You don't... <laughs> You, it will attack you because, um, but you can always disengage if you want. No, but I want my action. Well, then you're gonna take a hit <laughs> if you move away. You can always attack yeah, it. But, but so right now you're kind of that. like in combat with this thing. The first firebolt that hit this axe beak did a lot of damage. Like it's not looking great. Like, it's missing one of its eyes, because this fireball just creamed off his, for the side of his face and just took one of the eyes out completely. It's got the other eyes staring at with you bloodlust, though. Punch it! Can I undo the ropes as a bonus action to let Niels be able to go jump off? Yeah, I'll there. say that, yeah, because you kind of just, like, and they, they come off. So that's your bonus. Smack this dinosaur upside the face with a hammer. Uh, axe beak is not a dinosaur, it's a bird. Although technically yeah. it is a dinosaur. Birdosaur! Well, the birds are dinosaurs. Weirdly. Well, right. Birds that are right dinosaurs. Too. Semantic. Ooh, that hits. <laughs> Bring your hammer across. Seven damage. Technically, it has to reach up because it's bigger than. Uh, yeah, you kind of jump up. Crash! The smith's hammer crashes through the, the axe beak's front, taking, it's no longer an axe beak, because you've taken that front of the beak off completely. It's just this, like, bottom jaw and the, the remaining bit of the, the kind of the beak form, and it's ready to kind of just, like, try and bite you. You haven't killed it yet, but it's looking really bad now. Can I use some of my move to move Mark? No, that's not. Okay. Um, are you moving? Yeah. Nice. Or are you staying where you are? Nice. <laughs> I roll. We actually are playing D&D. I'm rolling 50 out of here. Bye. 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 Oh. <laughs> it's I a crit. Me. Anyways. Are you moving? I am my, no, I am my, I got that field power bonus right here. I am my turn. Okay, so you end your turn there. You kind of square off with his axe beak. Um, that's your turn. Uh, Alduis. Um, 
Yeah, Haldus is just gonna like, he's just looking around. Is the ladder still there? Yes, but so is the pit. The the floor is there now where the the ladder but sits. But I can walk across the ladder, can't Use I? your action to you pick up the Like, I, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna <laughs> step across the ladder thing. Grab right Mark. Isn't he on Joseph Spinman's shoulders? Uh, he is, but he's untied. I am not attached. No, you, you, you two are fine. Aldous is gonna go... Uh, fuck it, she'll be fine! And <laughs> like, run across the ladder to the other side quickly. Okay, so you, you run across the ladder to the other side. Pit stays uh, in place. Yeah, but uh, as... As, it, uh, as Aldous gets there, like, he's... He'll generate, like, uh, the ice knife in his hand. And as he goes to turn around to throw it, I'm going to throw it at the big red fucking dinosaur there. Um, and I'm going to use my punt to hit 19, so it's a 20, 25 to hit on that. And okay. the other two should take damage in the radius as well. So will your half-orc friend? Yeah, that's fine. She'll be fine. Okay, so... <laughs> but fr friend is a very strong word. You pull the, you kind of grab yeah. the air around you, pulling the moisture in, and then a single water drop forms, and then shoots forward, shatters against them. Roll for attack. Yeah, so you hit. Eight damage. So the uh, dinosaur takes eight. And then all of them need to make a dexterity saving throw. I'm not sure what the DC is. Though. It doesn't say the DC anywhere. It's your DC. It's your spell DC. Yeah. Spell seven. It's fail, fail. Warp succeeds. Uh, yeah, so 14 they need to succeed, yeah. Okay, so the Allosaur succeeds, the two Axe Beaks fail, and she succeeds. He's gonna die. Oh, they take six damage. That's bad. So, and they take half if they succeed, right? Uh, no, they don't take any if they succeed, apparently. I don't oh. say anywhere they still take it. Okay, yep. So, eight, so he, so he takes... So he takes eight, none. They take six. Six. Okay. So the one that they've kind of like been bashing and hitting and things, as the 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 ice knife explodes and shatters crystals everywhere, um, your half orc friend jumps behind kind of the like gets behind the the allosaurus that took the hit and just as the ice goes everywhere the allosaurus seems somehow unaffected by the explosion the axe beak that was fighting takes the brunt of it one one of the shards comes through the other eye and it just drops down dead i told you she'd be fine um so she who are you talking to you I, I never said anything. You told me to get on her shoulders. Okay. Uh, yeah. The other axe beak takes another one of the shards, comes from the side, and gets her under the gets the under the wing, um, and takes six damage. Okay. Right. Uh, that is Eric's turn. Allosaurus. No. Axe beak. Then Allosaurus. So. No, this is the Allosaurus, sorry. Um, can't move, what's it going to do? Uh, it's going to try and throw, kind of like, it'll whip its head back and forth, and then try to chuck the orc off of it. Uh, that's an 18 for him. She fails. Uh, you're watching this, is like, uh-oh, and then chucks the orc kind of this way. That's one of its... its that's its action, and it's gonna, yeah, it's gonna move this way. It's gonna go after her. Uh, but it can't do anything else at the moment. Uh, that's that turn. Now, uh, Mark's turn. <sighs> Thank you, Joseph. Mark's gonna jump on the foot. Run down the foot, run down the edge, and hop on the Allosaurus's back, and stab it with a dagger. Okay, make an attack roll. So you're not grappling him; you're just you're just jumping on him, to stab him. Yeah. Go ahead. The dagger to stab and hold. Yeah. yeah okay. So eight. So that's hits. Yeah. Twenty-two. 
Damage? Seven. Damage. So that's... So you... And it's like... actually, that knockdown ability I just mentioned is a reaction when I hit something. Okay, so you want to use it? I, I, I'm going to use it this time. It's going okay, to so make you... a strength save. So rather than kind of like... Uh, okay. Uh, what's the DC? Uh, it is... Is it 12? I think it's 12. Yeah, it succeeds. So you jump up, kind of like getting ready to kind of like punch this in the side of the head, try to kind of knock it off balance. <laughs> you do damage to it as the kind of dagger slides into it and gouges a chunk out, but it just holds fast. Double checking what my save is, but I'm pretty sure it's low. I rolled a natural 16, so more than enough. It's uh, way yeah. stronger than you. Um. Yeah, so it, it crashed into you. Um, yes. So well. right now, the axe beak. The other axe. What are you going to do? You can see. You can see you. you can see that. It's going to go for. It's going to go for Mark because it seems like a. It's a smaller target. Yeah. So it's going to go for you. Um, and it kind of like bears its like huge beak down and comes comes kind of comes into like bludgeoning you with this huge like axe made of bone and. Uh, what's your AC? Seventeen. Uh, that's gonna hit then. Oh shit! As this axe comes flying down at you. Speak. Bye guys. Oh, okay. Was well, nice. To you. Uh, you take six points of slashing damage as this beat comes crashing down on you. It, goes, it takes a huge chunk out of your back because you were basically fighting this Allosaurus. Ow! Um, that's its turn. Uh, I think we're back at the top of the round. No, we're not. The orc goes. Um, she's kind of like winded a bit, <sighs> and she, she goes to attack um, the Allosaurus. First attack misses. Second attack hits, and because of who she is, she's a crit. So she does seven, six, thirteen, sixteen. She does sixteen points of damage. So this, she brings this huge axe to bear, and just and just takes one of its arms off completely, just shreds it as it came down to kind of swipe at her. <laughs> Um, so that's her turn done. Nicholas. Did you say there were people riding these? No. Uh, I thought you did. I must oh, have said. Well. Alright. Do I have Mark a clear shot? In life. From where you are, you can hit the axe beak. Yeah, I'll take a shot. Yeah. Okay. Uh, not 20. That's hit and crit. Go. Some good rolls today. Wish I could roll them as a DM. <laughs> ah, I'm glad you can't, to be honest. <laughs> oh yeah, the dragon that spent an hour <laughs> getting its breath back. <laughs> I, I like love that dragon. Um, what is my damage? Probably the best mob you've ever made, Dean. So double the dice rolls. Yeah, I'm trying to get my d6 out. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 24 plus 2! You just, you aim, you take your time. I and crit then the world, everything! And the world goes still. <laughs> its head just gets <laughs> just shot off completely. Like one of those animes where it just goes a little bit too bloody. Just boom! The head comes off. That axe beak is I dead like as Naruto. fuck. Yeah. What? Boom! Naruto. Sure. <laughs> Because that happens all the time when people lose their head randomly. More like um, Princess Mononoke when he shoots the arrow at the guy. I ain't never seen a Ghibli. Get out. <laughs> Alright, see you tomorrow. Jesus Christ, how have you never seen a Ghibli movie? I don't like films. I don't like long things. They're not that long. They're like two hours. That's pretty long. Ah! Have you not seen Hell's Moving Castle? You guys have been watching no. a Marvel movie every week. What do you mean you don't like long movies? There you go. Yeah, so anyways, the axe beak is just no more. It's corpse kind of like... 
just hits the ground. It kind of like moved around like a chicken with its head cut off for a bit, and then just dead. Um, that's your go, Joseph Spinman. I don't agree with killing these, but if you guys are gonna get hurt, I'll do it. Joseph? Yeah. You wake? No. Okay. <laughs> what are you doing? I did it's it. Just like Naruto. <laughs> I did it just like Naruto. What? Are you gonna take your claim? <laughs> yeah, I mean. Okay. <laughs> so you pull down the the energies from above and just a like column of flame appears. The the Allosaurus though seems to be like almost unnaturally aware of it and just dodges to the side as the flame kind of comes crashing to the ground. Um, he avoids it easily. Uh, Nicholas, and now it is Alduis's turn. You can't see the Allosaurus from where you are. There's no way you can. Allosaurus. Um. <laughs> Uh -huh. You can actually. You can see it. How That's weird. That? How can you see it? Oh no. You... No, you can't see that because I see why it's done that. No, you can't see that. There's no way. All right. Oh, let's see what I can. Probably the awkward salt. Yeah, I always <laughs> <laughs> Bet I have fucking dinosaurs anyway. <laughs> Why would they be her dinosaurs? So, did that dinosaur run back up north? Did it like running up, up that way, or did it like, was it knocked that way? Uh, it ran that way. Um, but all the other, the axe speaks are dead. Yeah, Aldous is just gonna, he'll just run quickly across the ladder, and as he gets to the other side, just quick target, throw firebolt at the, uh, the thing. Yeah, so you kind of run, and. Um, 16. Let me check, because the Allosaurus has different. That's 2-0. Uh, yeah, that still hits. So. Roll damage. So. Five. <laughs> Firebolt comes out. Five. Okay. <laughs> Uh, you seem to have made it angry. Um, it's the Allosaurus's go. Marcus. Magic missile. The last person who hit it was Magic missile. <laughs> Magic missile. <laughs> I'm out, man. It's gonna go for the orc. It's gonna go for the orc because she's the one who did the most damage to him. She just. This thing rears back and gets ready to kind of do just like. <laughs> uh, oh, okay, interesting. Uh, yeah, that's gonna hit. So it reaches down for a huge bite and just <laughs> and clamps down into into your orc um, friend. Um, and from your perspective, she disappears. She did. It's like, you hear a crap. And then nothing. Um, it is Mark's turn. Fuck. Fuck. Fuck! Oh, don't do that! Don't do that! Um. 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 Mark's gonna disengage and run the fuck away. Okay. <laughs> you disengage? Yeah. Go ahead. Where are you going? Fuck! Can't reach the fire. I'm cold still. <laughs> yes, you are. You're you still shivering. shivering didn't you're you? still shivering. You're still shivering from the uh, the the cold. <laughs> okay, that's your turn. Uh, boop. 
Joseph Spinman. No, I don't know. I'm very tired. Your your guide has just been, from what you're seeing, probably consumed by this Allosaurus, or maybe swallowed whole. No, no, don't lie. We didn't hire a guide. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's gone well for you, by the you're, way. You're, li you're lying to the audience. No, yeah, right? it's gone really well. I mean, we're yeah, all yeah, fine. Um, two of you are diseased. That's what would have happened with the guide, regardless. Yeah. Don't lie and stay One of them's diseased because he's a fuckboy. That's true. Boy. Okay, so you reach back with the smith's hammer and crack this thing in the side of the head. Go for all for damage. Well, I'd more assume it'd be its, like, backside, because... Well, now it's turned with, like, blood and gore dripping from its teeth. It That's fine. It's, it was the same number, so... Oh, it's 44, alright. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, just <laughs> you knock a few teeth out as you kind of like. Well, if you're hitting its back, yeah, you knock a couple of spines out of its back um, as it kind of turns around now and stares at you, ready to kind of like pounce. Um, oops, Nicholas. Right, I'm hearing a lot of shit. You are hearing a lot of shit. You're hearing bangs and clangs of metal. You're hearing screams of pain and agony. What are you doing? Can my wizard boy see what's going on? You, your wizard boy? Yeah. Alduis, can you see what's going on? Yes, I can see what's going on. What's going on? Um, it, I mean, it's, it's all fine. Alright, so I can just chill out? Nah, nah, not that fine. Alright, I'm gonna walk. The back dinosaur's across. causing it's causing a the bit ladder. of trouble. You're gonna cross the ladder. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. You you cross the ladder easily enough, that's fine. Alright, five, seven, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, and shoot. Yeah, so you walk out into the field, see a bloodied mess of a thing. That's a fifteen. That hits? It's not hard to hit. It's a dinosaur. It is a dinosaur. Ah! It's on the floor. Reroll. That is eight total piercing damage. Okay. So the, the shot <laughs> takes a huge chunk of the teeth as it kind of crashes through. Huge chunks of the teeth out and kind of gouges the side of the face. As there's this huge now like hole where you kind of elongated the kind of um, the smile of this creature as it kind of goes all the way back now to the walls. Um, that's your turn, Aldous. This thing's looking uh, really hurt. Uh, can I still see the masked figures in the? Make a perception check. Line. Oh, that's bad. No. They seem to have you disappeared now. Alright, okay. Um, Alright, I'll, I'll, just, I'll just have to throw another fireball, and if it's looking weak, it doesn't look worth a spell. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, that hits. Shite three. <laughs> so... <laughs> I miss having <laughs> pluses on damage. <laughs> it, it goes to roar. Um, and as it's kind of roaring at you, the firebolt just goes straight down the throat and <laughs> it crumbles to the ground. I didn't Dead. feel that good. Ah, <laughs> died from lead poisoning. You look around. <laughs> Uh, 
Um, actually, Joseph, Oscar? Joseph, make me a perception check. <laughs> okay. So you look around for a second because you're kind of surveying the ends of the battle. It's kind of everything kind of goes quiet as the, the giant dinosaur goes and dust cloud kind of kicks up around you. You see in front of where the dinosaur was is the unmoving body of your half orc companion. Mm. What's her name? A silver fang. Alright. Okay. You're out of initiative now, just to let you know. What are you doing? The hell Damn. was that all about? And why did you start attacking them? Well, the orc lady, she jumped on top of one of them. I didn't attack until they rushed us. We could have just stayed at the back. They're too big to get in here. Unnecessary combat will be the death of us. Now, is everyone alright? No. Uh, the Aldous just sort of nods. It, can we do anything about her? You run off. The quiet of the jungle is oppressive. Monto, you're awake. Yeah. That was directed what? at you. <laughs> I think. What? When they sat and asked, is anyone can anyone do anything and about I, and... No you didn't. No, I I can't raise the dead, Avin. What the hell? Level I so I didn't say she was dead, I said she was unmoving. That when you get eaten by a dinosaur and then you're unmoving, that's like a pretty big dead assumption. You didn't ask me to make a medicine check or anything. No, I didn't, because you didn't go over and look at her. Fuck God. <laughs> well gee, let me just whoop de doop de doo cure wounds, sure. Okay, now make a medicine check. Oh, as you get closer to kind of examine what what the damage is. You're not sure if she's alive or dead at this point. No, I rolled a crit fail. I'm pretty sure she's dead. No, you you have lack of knowledge, not you don't think something incorrect. She's not... She doesn't appear to be breathing, but you don't know what effect a spell of any kind will have on her. Well, let me just use this spell slot anyways. Okay. Not like that'll... I had her mind. That's one. So in like an act of desperation is you're kind of like thinking, is she alive, is she dead? And you kind of just <laughs> pump um, healing energy into her. And the wounds on her begin to knit closed. The large gashes and large holes from where the Allosaurus' teeth just close up and slowly but surely breath <gasps> enters her body once again she stares up at you thank you very not <sighs> I'm gonna walk back to the green. She gets back up on her own and walks over next to you guys as well. Go 
good fight. <laughs> Charging battery. Um, and I would like to take what a... What happened to you? Uh, dinosaur. Ate me. <laughs> happens sometimes, I think. Here. Hmm, what Reckless showing? actions just cause more trouble for the rest of your people. Hmm. You could have been one of the undead that they would have to cur like destroy. Hmm. Maybe. But I'm alive now. Hesitation also brings death. Hmm. Sacrifice brings strength. None of you are damaged, yes? I'm not exactly looking too great. <laughs> you didn't look good but before we met, mate. That's not, uh, I don't think that was related to this, though, do you think? <laughs> How Same Laura. place, it's all related. Hubris. You steal my joke. <laughs> no, she said uh, more of the, the traps in the other area. Uh, she stole my fucking joke. <laughs> I'm not happy. I don't see the masked ones that you mentioned earlier, though. I stopped. I lost sight of them. About halfway through the fray. Hmm. I think they called those creatures. Hmm. We should be wary. Many of us. Are we going to rest here tonight? Wait, what? You just said they called those creatures and then didn't say anything? Hmm. Yes. I think they called those creatures. Oh, okay. Should we... Hmm. Not sure. Should we hunt them down? I feel like we're more likely to stumble into them mm. in a negative way if we go into that jungle. Mm. What, what Nicholas said before about unnecessary combat. Hmm. It's wise, in this case. I don't want to be fighting in the jungle if I can avoid it. Shall we... Hmm. Get back on the boat, then? Or rest here? Most of the, uh, smaller tents are destroyed, but the larger ones seem to be okay. Dinosaur meat's good eating as well. I think with a watch we could stay here. Hmm. Uh, is it safer retreat. inside? Yes, yeah, so we could always retreat inside the temple. Hmm. Those traps, though. They seem to. They're not that dangerous. Well, um. Aldous would Aldous disagree. Aldous is, is just looking at Nicholas like really big. Huge cuts, <laughs> like just gigantic blade cuts out of him. <laughs> Once you disarm them, they're all right. Uh, where's your uh, Where's your cobalt friend? Mark. I'm here. He's uh. What are you doing? I'm cold. He's cold. Why are uh, you cold? It's pretty warm. Cold. Can, uh, can Aldous salvage any, like, things from the dinosaurs, like claws or fangs? Or... Yeah, maybe a survival check. Who's holding the jug? Mark. Oh, Mark. Okay. Okay. Uh, so as you're kind of, like, looking at the Allosaurus, and the Axe Beaks as well, you reckon with a lot of time you could get something out of the Axe Beaks? You might be able to get a few feathers from them easily enough. The Allosaurus teeth and claws... You can probably get some. 
Yeah, I'll spend some time, like, yeah. gathering a lot. Of, considering we're probably going to be making camp soon, I'll just, while things are getting set up, I'll just take a poke around. So you managed to get eight Allosaurus teeth and three Allosaurus claws, like the end bits. Um, one of the one of the the arm that um, Silverfang chopped off, you can't even find that thing. Uh, that one comes somewhere into a creening into a bush somewhere. So you only get three. So it's eight teeth and three claws. Yep. A lot of the other teeth were destroyed. Um, some of them by you, and some of them by, um, <laughs> some of them by Nicholas. There are lots of bullet holes and things like that in this thing. Make me a perception check as you're kind of doing this as well. Alright. Okay. What's your AC? Uh, my AC is not, not high. Uh, 14 actually. Okay. So you're kind of like, you're picking... The, the, the other, everyone else has kind of gone off to see what's wrong with Mark, I assume, yeah? And you're kind of picking over this Allosaurus, kind of like pulling it apart and things like that. Um, as you're doing that, um, a dart hits you in the neck. You take one point of damage, and then you begin to feel a little woozy. Make a constitution saving throw. Wait, why is Nils doing this? Not Nils. Eric. Uh, 15. 15, yeah. You kind of start to kind of fall unconscious, then you uh, shake it off really quickly and pull the dart out before it can kind of have its full effect. Oh, motherfuck. Uh. <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to look around a little bit. I'm guessing I'm going a bit blurry, though. Yeah, a little bit blurry. Um, you can't see... You can't see where it came from. You're having a look around, seeing where this this dart shot out from. You're kind of Guys. like. Guys. Uh, yeah. I got shot. Did you find another trap? Yeah. Alice is very low on health. He's just kind of stumbling around near a dinosaur at the moment. Holding a dart in his How hand. low? <laughs> Five. <laughs> Five, okay. That's good. Oh, okay. Um, I want to take a 15 minute break here, if that's okay. Well, okay. Affected as though he failed a saving throw against confusion. It lasts for oh, one yeah. minute. I believe that was the correct one. Yep. But he hasn't he hasn't taken damage yet, so he's okay. Hey, what's up, Evan? How are you, man? We're still playing hey, D and D. Mate. <laughs> we're we're still playing D and D, Bradal. He knows we're still playing D and D. <laughs> Like, yeah, you, you say he knows that, dude. I know he knows that. I think you just should just kindly ask him to leave. Yes. Would you please I either leave or listen quietly? And I assume that's that's Dean making using his thing, isn't it? Because I can't look because I'm in full screen and I can't oh, even check. Hell. Wow. Because Dean couldn't keep it together for more than five seconds. <laughs> Any of us though. <laughs> that was so good. <laughs> Neil's reminded me. Minky, Minky was just like, Dean, record this, it'll be funny. And it uh. was. <laughs> okay, anyways. Hey, Avin, what's up, mate? <laughs> right. Anyways. <laughs> what are you guys doing? I've got, 
bandits, I swear to God. I'm, I'm doing the Dean. <laughs> we should eat the bird. The bandits have never arrived. Instead, I've just killed off two that. players. Two. I've given enough input. I've given options. We, got, we should eat the birds. Birds? We should eat the birds! Yeah, birds. We should eat the birds, but we don't have to eat, like, I mean... I feel like we should go inside somewhere, or protect ourselves from darts. Yeah. Didn't you didn't you say it was three masks on top of each other? They can go through the traps anyway, so we're not safe inside. <clears throat> no, but I if... mean, like, kind of if we go inside a tent, but put up blankets or something so that we're less likely to have a dart penetrate and kill us. If we are going to chill out and eat some meat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow, the crickets are very loud in this jungle. So, you're going to go into a tent. So you kind of gather the rest of them and kind of get them to kind of go into a tent together and kind of, you kind of, you grab one of the, probably the headless one, you grab the headless, like, axe beak and pull it into the tent behind you and, and kind of shut it. Are we going into the temple with the tent? The tent, the tent, not the temple. We're not going in there, the though. There. there or there. It's up to you. Do you want to go in the temple or the tent? Dean said the tent. We're safe in the temple. There's traps in the temple. Go put the tent in the temple. Oh, Aldous, Aldous, Aldous! Come over here, come over here, come We're over here. We're gonna make a temple. A temple. Temple. <laughs> put your nose up to this. And Mark holds the jar against your head. Oh, okay. <laughs> Alice uh, will sniff the jar. It smells like... Oh god, what does it smell like? Um... Anus? It smells like mayonnaise. It smells like mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. How big of a wall can I make out of copper? I try to put with, my hand um... in the jar. I, they're like little stoppers. I should... Um, did I, I don't think you were here when I showed it, but... Uh, I don't think you showed it at all, you just described it. Yeah. yeah, you just described it. How big of a wall can I make with one of out of copper with one gold piece? What? <laughs> Nani? It's like little it's like it's away. like you know like a wine stopper, they're that big. You can't stick your head in it. It's like a bunch of little stoppers all over this thing. It looks like a katamari in my head. I'll pull can I pull yeah, one. Yeah kinda of, actually. Out. Okay, so you pull one. Of, which which color would you like? You have white, yellow, blue, red, green, black, pink, or I don't know what color that is. Uh, a fucking mystery color. Orange. You haven't identified it. Or go for uh, the can I, go, go can, for the Mountain Dew one. Can I ritually many. identify it? It'll take you eleven minutes. Yeah, I want to do that. I'll nice. sit figuring it out. Okay, so where are you going I, to do I this? I scoop up my identify stuff that I got out already. Yeah, he already did that, actually, yeah. He started... He got, he pulled it out. Um, I'm putting it back. I'm sheafing it. Okay. I'll, um... I'm gonna make some ammo if we're having a short resto. Are you... How big of a wall of, out of copper can I make with a gold piece? With a gold piece? Yeah. It's about worth, not about size, though. It's a lot yeah. of so how much it's a lot, then. <laughs> How so, worth is okay. a wall of copper, though? It's like... Okay, so a copper piece is worth a hundred... A copper piece is worth a hundred... Is worth... A hundred copper are worth one gold. How much is one hundred copper? I say you can make a five by five sheet. But it's very thin. It's so, not a dart, though. Yeah, it's not a dart. It basically make a little shield. Of copper, but it is it's just like it's not even beaten copper; it's just like a pure copper sheet. I need to look something up. No, it's fine. I'm not gonna do that. I just want to know if I could. Isn't that take an hour, anyways? Yeah. 
<laughs> okay. I just so, don't know if I could, not if I should. Where are you doing this ritual? Well, we're in the big tent, aren't we? Okay, so you all kind of crowd around the big tent and kind of get yourself ready. Are you having any lookouts, or are you just... Wait. The round tent, or the oblong tent? Uh, all of the ones up here are destroyed. Oh, all of them. Yeah, because the Allosaurus and the Axe kind of crashed their way through that way. Let's go to this one, because it's in the shroud of the other one. Okay. So you kind of go all... circle it because we don't have fog vision on it yet, but I'm going to stealth across to it. Okay. Uh, 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 11. Okay. So you go as quietly as you can over to the, the oblong tent and make your way inside. This one? Mm. That one. Uh, the camera guy over there. Yeah, so you move you move into the oblong tents. Um, all of you. They're all basically. empty, yeah? Yeah, basically they, they look like they've been completely empty out. There, there is a bed roll there, but it looks like kind of rotted. Like, no one's been sleeping in this for a long time. You haven't really explored this area. You've only really gone into the, the main shrine and not where you anything else. Yeah, um, well, Silverfang said it was abandoned. Yeah. Um, okay, so you, you do your ritual. Um, can the people who are... Who is going to keep watch while he's doing this? I'm doing that, like, same hunter shit, but I'm laying inside the tent. Flat. Gun. Okay. Okay. Make a perception check. Yeah. Okay, so you're, you're being outside the tent. Natural eight. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're kind of watching the, the tree line. You're not seeing anything move or anything kind of shift. There's a couple of, like, slow movements of the jungle leaves in general because of the, like, light breeze that's going through, but nothing major. Um, right. Uh, as you complete your ritual, because nothing seems to happen. I read that as a bear. Four gallons of bear. <laughs> no, not bear. Beer. Honey bear. What are so, these in, like, English units? What's a quart? Uh, a lot. What's a lot? More than a gallon? Uh, no, actually, uh, sorry. Hold on, let me see. Quart... Gallon. One quart is a quarter of a gallon. Sorry. A little way around. In mil. Uh, quart to mil. How much is an ounce? Um, how many milliliters are in a quart? Yeah. There are a thousand milliliters, roughly, in a quart. Okay, so a gallon is four liters, and a quart is a liter. A liter of oil. Uh, I'll, I'll be nice, actually. Yeah. I'll be informing everyone like what it does. Yeah, so uh, four you, liters of oil. Yeah. So four each of the tiny. yeah. So each of the stoppers, you know now what each of them does. Like all the green ones, obviously, <laughs> like poisons, black as acids, things like that. You know exactly which ones. You know which ones are the fresh water and which one's the salt water, which is the kind of the most important one to you. Um, it's just one liter of oil per day. Yeah, it I, always. You can hear sloshing inside of it because you kind of. Very water. interested in the salt water. Why? In case I decide to build a, build a pond with salt water fish. Alright. <coughs> Uh, make another what perception kind check. What wine is it? Does it have any hallmarks on it for like the type of brewery or? Mm, doesn't appear to. It looks like it does in the picture. There are there are tribal <laughs> patterns all around the tops it's, and it's bottoms. Fox wine. <laughs> 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 Mate, the beer is like the fucking draft that the fucking man and the crocodile just brewed up together. One oh, they were fucking it's bored. probably fasters. <laughs> for fuck's sake. <laughs> This is Australian. <laughs> He's got like a thing on his back. What? It's because the man was carrying like as an alligator oh, on his no. back. Oh no! Were you not there for it when we were we at the hotel? And the fosters smelt like fart. Uh, it's a basic poison. 
useful. <laughs> Maybe you what? took a draft. It's a basic from the, poison. Like glass. It was like, just what, not my like thoughts. What? What kind of poison are you talk thinking about? Like, like mercury. Uh, mercury is a specific thing. It's not a poison. Yeah. It's more like um, hemlock or, or something of that nature. That kind of poison. It's a derived poison. It's already poisonous. It's not, you can't just make mercury from the poison, as it were. Alcohol mercury, is a poison. Alcohol is a poison, technically. You can make basic alcohol. Uh, you can make beer or wine and derive it from there. Yeah, but can we make like we half, make ounce half, of ounce of half ounce of moonshine? Half ounce of moonshine, pure ethanol. Mmm, no, because I have a feeling you'd do something awful with that. I am an alchemist tinkerer, yes. Yeah. So I can't make moonshine. All right. You can, just not like with this. Not the rack. How much water do we need to drink per day? Uh, four gallons, I think. No, like two gallons. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. No, he's right. He's right. Two gallons each. Sorry. That's that's eight liters of water per day. What the no, fuck? Yeah. What the but it's fuck? Hot. It's hot. Eight in, liters. In fact, that. now you notice it. This is the hottest place... Uh, Niels, have you ever been to a really hot climate? He's been I have. to Afghanistan. I've been to Africa. You've been to South Africa? It's like that. <laughs> You've been to Toto Africa. South <laughs> Africa. South Africa. It's marked You've been like to South Africa, yeah. Much. It's 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 hot constantly. I'm I'm very bad at temperatures. But I'm gonna yeah, pull the so stopper on the water one lot. and take a chug a lug. So you chug out. Evan, take can a... we reflavor one of the stoppers to pour Tej? I'll say the beer one does Tej instead, because it's basically. What if I want beer? Well, <laughs> no. I'm gonna make Tej. Anyways. <laughs> Anyways, you pull out the stopper and chug down. How many gallons of water do you chug? <laughs> Don't can... confuse me. One, no, two. Two, two gallons. Two. At one. So after two minutes, I go for a full refreshment. So after yeah, after a minute, basically, you've kind of consumed as much water as you think you can. You feel a bit the full and sloshy. Have her own water. Yeah. Okay, because now I don't feel as bad. She's had her own I'm supplies the whole away. time. And then, yeah, you chug down some water and it's refreshing and clear and beautiful and wonderful. Wait, I need... Can't produce it. Okay, so... <laughs> so now... I need a moment! What? Hmm? I need a moment. What did you do? <laughs> what? Oh. He didn't even find it funny. Oh no, I'm s I did. I. <laughs> Just not that funny. Let me fucking check. I'm gonna tell Eric and see if Eric finds it funny. Uh, <laughs> it's pretty. It's, it's it's pretty good. Are you? Oh my god! You do. <laughs> he just goes. How do we get that from the jar? <laughs> 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 Okay, so you've got this jar, you're passing, you're kind of drinking this air. You're the orc companion gonna go, your silver friend goes, Stop, I'm Rrr. trying to drink, you fuck. <laughs> Two gallons. <laughs> what are we doing? We can't just sit here. How long is a short rest? An hour. You spend about. 10, 11 minutes, something like that. I thought we exactly we're, were just We're gonna cook here. these! Okay, you're gonna yeah, take a short rest. I thought we were cooking, having some meat, watching out. Yeah. Mark, okay. Mark runs over with Axe Beak's legs. 
Chopped so you all... already. It would have been about 20 minutes or so since like we all hustled uh, up near the fireplace. We're not really doing strenuous activity. Okay. Because like you said, Aldous took 11 minutes and then... Yeah, he, he did it inside drink. the 10, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um... Okay, so if you guys are going to take a short rest, are you taking it inside the tent, or are you just sitting around the fire? In, I'm staying inside the tent, personally. Okay. I'll just sit inside Mark it. can fucking mage hand the meat. As you're kind of I mean, I'll, I'll stand watch until, uh... Okay. It was time to rest. Make so. a perception check. Joseph right. Spinman. Just call me Joseph. You are or Joseph. Jo name? Joseph Spinman. That's your name. Or just Spinman. Uh, you don't see. You <laughs> watch the tree line in it, and you see nothing. However, you, okay. So where is everyone? I need to know right now. I'm where I am. Okay. I'm where I am. Okay. Sitting on like. One of the wood things. Mark will be running around near Joseph, cooking the meat. Run back and forth, see not your Nicholas. <laughs> okay, so you're running around back and forth. You're kind of running to the back speak and back and forth. So make me a perception check, Mark. What kind of weather is it? It is bright and sunny, so do so with disadvantage. Pretty good. Anyways, as you're kind of running, you notice that the tree line in front of you, these Batiri goblins begin to come out from the trees. Some stacked on top of each other, others not. One is in the front, though, and it begins to make its way towards you. Um, a female. Um, it's wearing the similar kind of mask as well, the other ones. Hers, um, a large smart upturned like frown with huge yellow eyes um, horns that come out from all sides and they're not it's not the, like the best built mask you've ever seen but there's a certain tribal animosity to it as she moves her a large spear in her hands a uh, embellished with what looks like dinosaur feathers maybe um, and a large pointed tip Now piss off. And uh, what's your AC? Seventeen. Uh, oh, I should mention before you before you said that. Okay, it's not just her. Uh, let me move to the token layer. So can you see as many as you can? They're about. Uh... They're about. Uh, is it eight of them? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 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 They're nine. They're nine. Whereas, you've played Diablo too. Yeah? All Black I can finish. hear is that. <laughs> no, not the Rakanishu ones, the flayers from the jungle who stab you in the fucking ankle. Because that's what these are pygmies. You Those have treasure! Terrifying things. Through those doors there, and through the statue. Can what? I hear this? Yeah, there she's not being quiet. <laughs> Is it just one not new... in the tower? Uh, this one is bigger than the others, but there's a couple like stacked on top of each other. Which That's one looks of... like important? Uh, Did the we take one... short rest yet? No, you didn't get it. Did, didn't get it all the way through. Oh. Uh. Uh, the one, the female, the one with the spear and the large. Shoot at her. Okay, so when from the. Going to, when she going you... to avoid conflict? Yep, the conflicts come to us. They've shot out to us. Okay, roll attack. Do I get advantage? Uh, yeah, I'd say so. That's good. Uh, that's bad. That's five. Plus four, so nine. Uh, that was your hit. 
Yeah. Okay, uh, hold on, let me check something. Regardless or not, I also have a follow-up to it, whether it hits or not. <coughs> oh, that's wrong one. Uh, no, that does not hit. It goes... So this massive thunderous crack explodes out of this tent. And I come stand up, full tiefling visage, cloaked, billowing, and I use formaturgy. Can I have formaturgy since we're not technically yeah, yeah, I'll in let you do that. Yeah. Of order, I formaturgy, making my voice boom, and I go, "If you wanted it, you would go and earn it. It is ours, and be gone." Yeah. Make me an intimidation check with advantage. Da, 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 da. I rolled off my table. Rolled again. Better. Where is intimidation? It's charisma That's based. 14. Uh, some of the stacks near the back look like they turn, the, the whole stacks turn to each other. <laughs> and they run off into the, into the woods. Um, all these ones disappear. Uh, and I need initiative. Not Gosh. 20. God so damn, if I only had that couple rolls early. Oh no. You know why I'm getting these nat 20s, right? I saw them destroy the cursed Will Wheat in D20. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, so you got a 20. Uh, it's 22 total. 22, okay. Have you seen the um, newest episode? It's sick. I haven't yet. How do I... What episode is it up to now? Uh, eight. I think I'm on five. No, I can see it. I'm missing somebody. Oh, whatever. Initiative. Initiative. Yeah, I, I fucking brain. In my blank, I blanked. Twenty-one. Ooh, okay, uh, Nicholas, you're first. All right. Um, I guess I'll reload and then fire. So bonus action and action. Yep. Uh, that is a 16 to hit. Uh, I'm aiming for one of the subordinates, not the leader this time. Okay. Um, you see everyone for the stacks, okay? Uh, uh, that's still within base range. Okay, yeah, that hits. Easily. Okay. 2d6. Ah, oh, that's shit. 5 total. <laughs> Takes a chunk of the masks off the and just goes careening off into the woods. Um, uh, do I still have my former Toji up? Yeah. I'll say you have that up. Uh, how long it last? Oh, it's a minute. A minute. So it's fine. I don't want to kill anyone! Yeah! You will die! Uh, Alduis. One day, not today. Is it, is it just those ones over there, yeah? Those are the ones you can see. All right. Okay. Um, I, you know, fuck it. I'll try and fire another ice knife at them. The one, like, kind of like the middle one. How can I? How can I thingy? Uh, this one. Yeah, that one there. So it kind of hits those two as well. If it, if it hits. Okay. The one on the front is a little bit different. That one's the boss. That's the one that's been yelling. <laughs> yeah, but he'll get hit by the radius of it. Like he'll get hit okay. by the radius one, but. Maximize and DPS output. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Um, no, you yeah, okay, try you trigonometry in your head. <laughs> I mean, if it misses the first one, there's a good chance it'll hit the second one anyway on the angle. Wait, actually, if I line up like, hey. if I run over onto this angle, doesn't work that way. 
But it says it carries on and then it explodes anyway. It explodes. Uh. So technically, I fire it at him. No, it explodes anyway. Yeah, it explodes. It still explodes, but so you can't. So even if then, it'll still hit this wall and hit that guy behind him. Hold on. Let me look at my snipe. Let's see what it says. Um, do the roll the attack anyways, because you just you might just hit him anyways. Okay. On hit, target is twenty ten. Hit or miss, the shard explodes. So it explodes wherever you target it, basically. So that that hits for sure. <laughs> One. For one, yeah, okay. And then uh, the two, yeah, all make dexterity saving throws. Okay, what's the. 14. Succeeds. No, fails. Succeeds. Fails, fails. Okay, so. Okay. And they take. Let's 2d6, see. I think. Or something Ten. weird. 10 damage damage. Um, yeah, the ice knife <laughs> screams through the air. Stabs into the goblin that that um, uh, Nicholas already shot. It hits the ground like you got it in a good spot, just underneath one of the or just underneath the mask, and it drops to the ground. <laughs> it hits the ground. Um, it was in the middle of the stack, so the as it falls, one drops down below it, and then the other two are kind of there, and then the ice knife explodes and just kills the stack outright, just, and just they all die. Um, the boss kind of hits the ground and dodges outright. The two on the stack behind it, because they're stacked, um, they both die as well. So they take the full brunt of the 10 damage. So they just, and they get killed. Um, so those are all dead. Um, the boss is still alive. Um, and it's the boss's now that's turn. That's for the dog! I said piss off! Uh... Yeah, she's gonna run in at this point. She's desperate. Uh, actually, what she's probably gonna do... Who has the jug? Neil. It's in, um, the, it's in the tent. No, no. Yeah, it was no I was in the tent. I used it last. But I don't know if anyone picked it up after that. Because I was uh, in the tent pouring myself a nice fat drink. Who had. Would it be visible? That's what I'm going to say. No. Probably not. I'd be in the tent. Okay, yeah, anyway. so that's fine. Um, yeah, she's going to run towards Mark then in that case. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> uh, Every time, Eric. Uh, Mark! Mark! You Mark! son of a bitch! <laughs> You son of a bitch! Uh, what's your AC? <laughs> I'll kill you! <laughs> Sorry, what was that? What was your AC? 17. Uh, Sorry. yeah. Oh, uh, so Whoa. that's... So that's a hit. By Mark. That's not, not a hit. You, the first, she brandishes a scimitar out of nowhere. <laughs> and the first strike comes across you. You take 8 points of damage. Mark down. And then she stabs you again as you're down. You take a consent two hits. Okay. You take so two. Down and two failures. Yep. I was on a query. Do you not roll that they still need to roll to a hit? They do, but they have advantage. Because they're incapacitated. Um, cause, yeah. So I'll see if they- blah blah. You're fucking lucky, cause she rolled two fours. As she comes to stam da slam down on you, the blade kinda bounces off of Mark's armor, and just hits it to the ground. <laughs> uh, so you don't take the two death saves, you're fine. Uh, Mark, make a death saving throw. One success. Uh, you're dead. You're dead. Yeah, I am. Oh, no, no. Yeah. You're 19. You're alive. Right, you're it's dead, just like weird because I thought it was instant, but then like on an unnamed thing I was watching, they rolled. <laughs> and someone was incapacitated. It is actually. Oh, yeah. uh, okay. Um, 
Joseph Spinman. <laughs> Is it the name Spinman? Yes. <laughs> Joseph. Um, Sunil's is on the floor. He yeah. really needs to stop saying his full name. It's pointless. He could just say Joseph. To be it's saying. it's the reason I say it is because his tag says Joseph Spinman, and it's easier to say. It's not because every time you say his name, you have to pause for me to laugh. Anyways, Joseph, your turn. <laughs> I'm gonna kneel down. Mark, and I'm gonna use cure wounds as the cuts and stuff look like they're forge molding themselves back together, like a little fire trails across it. Very cool. Like, and Mark wakes back up. <gasps> this goblin standing over your scimitar on the ground right next to you, Mark, as it's like screaming at you. <laughs> it's trying to kind of get at you. Um, now it's the other know. goblins' turn. No, I'm gonna use smoke and smoke here. Oh, you're gonna go in between them. Okay. Um, oh, Mark has full hit points. Full hit points. Okay, you can take it this way. Okay, so. One, two, three, four, five, six. As it gets, like, this stack of three goblins gets closer to you, the bottom one's kind of moving. And then it takes the top one, the one at, like, the, the bottom, the middle of the stack, grabs the one above it, and throws the top one towards Joseph. Um, what's your AC? Uh, right now? Yes. It's 20. 20. This goblin comes flying at you, and just hits the ground behind you. Um, uh, boop, in there. Um, the bottom one then takes the middle one and throws him at you. Okay, so that's middle one's. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it misses as well, kind of <laughs> flying through the air. Uh, kind of crashes in front of you. Um,. That's its action. The middle. Okay, so now as it lands, the middle one goes and tries to stab you with a spear. That's not gonna hit. Um, the top one. Yeah, he's gonna try. He doesn't hit either. They're just trying, and he's kind of clanging off your armor. Him. Would you say that James is spinning around to deflect them? Yeah. So it's like shield on one side, elbow on the other. He is. He is he is living true to his name. Um, that's their turn. Uh, now it is uh, top of the round, Nicholas. I thought for a second a goblin was gonna pop out of the ground and throw the bottom one. No, that would be weird. <laughs> it's not Pikmin. It's not Pikmin, but this is weird already. <laughs> okay, Nicholas. Um, I'm going to aim the gun at their leader. Okay. And say, this is your last chance. <laughs> and triggered. And miss. <laughs> okay. You fire the shot off. <laughs> you have one more chance. <laughs> um, Aldous. Alright, okay. And I used my reaction to roll Which the missile the bullet off of oh, my the shield, one hitting the different. one back here. Yeah, the... uh, um, what, what did you say? Bolt hit no, no, magic no. missile? That's no, the leader. The That's the leader. Yeah. Uh, I was yeah. asking if I could do some stupid Bollywood shenanigans. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Of course you can. <laughs> you want to try to bounce? You want to try to bounce the missile that's yeah, flying more, up. More like roll it off of, like, he's... I need... Oh, so you want to try to hit the far one. He's shooting at the thing. I don't know if I can roll it off my shield over there. And try <laughs> to bounce it miss? towards it. Make a As dexterity... A yeah, make a dexterity check with disadvantage. Alright. It's very difficult to do this. You're trying to basically throw your shield up to kind of create, like, an angle of attack for him. Yes. Okay, go. 
Uh, what you try? Do I roll? Dexterity check with disadvantage. As you kind of pull your shield up to try and do this, it just shatters straight through the shield and hits you in the arm. Um, your next attack has disadvantage. And you take six points of piercing damage as the bullet just crashes straight through your arm. That's fair. You did roll a one. Just, <laughs> ah! <laughs> and the goblins kind of... I, 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 I shot Jason? Yes, basically. Uh, Al so, Aldous, what did you want to do? Um, I'll... You hear in my former tertiary voice, <laughs> FUCK! Why do I just bellows through the entire ruin? Um, I'll magic missile. The three that are surrounding Joseph. I don't get why it's so funny though. Did you do you attack the darkness? What? No. Old meme. Never mind. I feel bad now. You don't know attack the darkness. It's a very uh, old meme. Right, so how do I roll this? All three of them take it, yeah? Yeah, they automatically take it. It's 1d4 plus 1 per missile. You can target right, um, as many as you... You target as many missiles as you have. I think you have, like, four at the moment? Four Maybe. magic missiles, you say? Or is it three magic missiles? Hold on. I think it might be three. Or is it? I think it's three. Magic missile. Three, yeah. It is. Yeah. Level one, one is three. Yep. So... 1d4 plus 1. Okay. Alright, so... First one... Is a three. Okay, so he takes three. Four... And a five. <laughs> From left okay, so, to right. So is the boss... It was included in that, or were you hitting the far one? Uh... No, the, the two little ones. like... The three, like, there. But from, like, left to right, like, two, three, then four on the boss, then five on the last one. Okay, so boss takes four. The other three. Three, four. <laughs> that's so bad, joke. Okay. So. <laughs> there are like large welts where these missiles have hit. The boss even looks a little like. <clears throat> uh, it's the boss's turn, and it's got Mark right in its sights, so. It's smarter than the other ones. It's gonna turn around and try and attack Joseph, actually, because it knows that you're the, <laughs> you're you're the healer. Kill the healer! Uh, nope, that's not gonna hit. Ooh, that hits though. Uh, right, so that. it's a crit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> uh. You take six points of slashing damage as the scimitar comes screening by you. I'm gonna carve a chunk out of you. Um, that's that's hit's turn done. It is now Mark's turn. Mark. Mark. More. Mark! Son of a bitch! <laughs> <laughs> Those uh, dead mask goblins lying around, right? Uh, they're they're farther away from you. I'ma grab one, slide him through the fire, and make him hug the leader. No, no, no! There are no dead mask goblins next to you. Yeah, we're close to me. There are no dead ma The dead mask goblins died up here. Telekinesis. Oh, okay. So how far is your telekinesis? I can 30 feet, so I can easily do that. Okay, so you pull one and pull it through. <clears throat> and Get fire and make it hug. Like, just toss it at the boss. Okay, make an attack roll. As I take a stab back. So I'm in a, in a grid. 
You're yeah, so you're in a grid properly. Okay, so you grab one of the goblins and pull it towards you. Um, what would that roll? The attack roll. What kind? Uh, with your whatever your psi stuff is, I assume it must be intelligence. Uh, so you grab the goblin and try and uh, rank him through. You pull him through the fire easily enough, but when it gets... Because you're trying to hit the boss, yeah? You kind of, like, pull it through the goblin... The the other... The boss goblin goes... Ah! And jumps over it as it careens straight into the river. Hissing as it, as it kind of, like, burns and everything out. Um, that's your action. You've got movement and bonus left. Piss off, I said! That's Mark's turn. Um, now it is Joseph, because you're before the goblins, the other goblins. Okay. Are they actually goblins? I don't think they were goblins. They are goblins. Are they a, uh, goblin subspecies. They're they're they they have these large masks and they're orange skinned rather than green, but their physiology. Now that you're kind of getting a better look at them. They're definitely goblinoid in nature. They have a very similar um, physical appearance. They're just a little I'm different. I'm going to take the dodge action. Okay, so That's you, all right. Yep, you take the dodge action. It's fine. You kind of stand there, hunker down, and kind of watch your enemies as they move around you. Um, yep, this... Okay, so now it's their turn. They're going to move in, and they're going to attempt to attack you. With disadvantage. That's going to miss. That might hit. Uh, does... You say your armor class is 20 right now, yeah? Yeah. Okay, so one hits you. Alright. Uh, you take eight points of slashing damage as it gets like... It's because the all three of them are kind of wailing on you. One of them is kind of hanging back, waiting for an opening. Oh man, that just that just barely downs me. And he just goes... Whoosh, and ga and manages to stab you right underneath no, the armpit. No one hit point. It's like... Thoroughly, when he would have done. Really? You're at one hit point? Yeah, so he's just like. <laughs> and Joseph he hits the ground. Well, like, hit me with the back of his. <laughs> yeah. Um, so you're downed. Uh, Nicholas. No, Joseph. Um, I'm gonna shoot at the leader again, so all I can pretty much do right now Kay. from here. Check my bag. Do I have anything that could help? No, oh, my ladder's no, my ladder's in the temple, dude. It is in the temple. And I miss. What did you roll? A four. Yeah, that misses. So, <laughs> cacophony shot rings out of the jungle. Um, Alduis. Where did the orc go? Uh. Oh shoot! I forgot about her. What's looking? What's looking? Sorry. Me? She's getting her own boat ride down the river. The rest uh, of the way. Uh, I'll have the orc do a couple of attacks. Um, what's what? What did you say? Alice? What's, what's looking? What's looking weak? Um, Can you have the orc do a heal or something to distract them? The the three the three goblins, the the non boss one, they look like they're mostly made of paper. Um. The boss hasn't taken very much damage at all. Like she's taking one magic I don't missile. Think the other. She's taken any, has she? Uh, she's taken one from magic missile. Magic missile. She took one damage. No, she took some damage from magic missile, but it's not. She's hardier uh, than the other ones. Didn't the didn't she didn't take any explosive damage from the ice attack? No. Nope. She dodged it. Uh, I dodged it. I found so. You did kill, like, uh, four of them when you did the ice knife last yeah, time. Yeah, that was... that was cush. Um... Well, if you said they're made out of paper, I know what hurts paper and firebolt. And I was just firebolt... I don't uh, know... That one. D the left one. Okay. Wait, no, the one that took five damage before. The right oh. one. Okay, so you firebolt. <laughs> just that <laughs> It, when you hit it, it explodes across this this thing's mask and just catches a fire, and just falls down. 
as it dies from the fire. Eventually. Takes a while to get there. Uh, the boss goblin's turn. It's down Joseph. It's not going to do that because that wouldn't be smart. Okay, it's going to go after Mark. Uh, it takes two attacks against Mark. First one misses. Second one misses. The two he, She strikes out with someone's scimitar. <laughs> and then the second one. <laughs> and both miss you completely. Fuck um, you. Fuck you. Fuck you. I will let the orc go now, because that kind of makes sense, and I fucked up. <laughs> I forgot about her. Um, the orc kind of comes out from the tent. And she she leaps towards the boss goblin. This is... Hits with one. Um, that one. She does that much. So that's... She kind of like... And just lambs into it with this huge axe. And gouges through the mask. And you can see behind this green sickly eye now behind it. This huge amount of blood kind of pooling on her. Do my axe! Um... Er, uh, no, Aldous... Aldous <clears throat> went, didn't he? Yep. Mark. Time, yeah. I thought she was going to do a couple attacks. Uh, eh, thematic narrative reasons. Okay. okay. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Mark has, like, no resources left. Jeez. Uh, Mark's going to jump the leader with a dagger. Okay, go ahead. Uh, that, that, when you go to jump and you slam the dagger down, you crash into where you think, like, the heart is, and it's just gonna, <laughs> as it bounces off of armor underneath the, uh, underneath, like, like, what looks like tribal stuff, and it, you realize you're, you're scraping across chainmail underneath there, <laughs> as sparks fly in back towards you. That misses, in case you wondered. Uh... Joseph Spinman, make yeah. a death saving throw. <laughs> uh, they didn't get me that sorry. What is it like? Action, you, action. You're unconscious. Yes. <laughs> you make a death saving throw. I that was making one, a joke, and you didn't appreciate it. That's one failure. Does anyone uh, actually have a way to save him from dying? <laughs> the yes. other two goblins nope. move forward. Um, they're going to attack the same target their boss is. I have Oi, mending. Fuck off. Uh, Since he's a forge cleric, does mending work on him? <laughs> <laughs> you don't know. It might do. Um, what's your AC, Mark? 17. First one misses you. The second one is natural one. And they both like crash and they go because they're trying to hit you. Um, with their daggers and blades and things as they kind of like just pull weapons out of like all over the place. They're not well made, but they're just kind of stabbing. Their masks kind of like jiggling about and things. Um, right. So Joseph Spinman. Nicholas. Oh, sorry, that's just, me. Uh, uh, <laughs> 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 I just was like, whoa. I'm going to shoot at the... No. I'm going to throw my gun down and tackle the queen. Okay, make a... make an athletic check. Oh, that's bad. I wish I hadn't used all these natural 20s at the start. That's a... Two? No. Plus... Wait, minus one. The... <laughs> so, Wait, what one, did you roll? a two. <laughs> I'm guessing he has negative strength. As you kind of like leap forward, you're much larger than this goblin, but she just kind of jumps and lands on your back. As you kind of like slide underneath there, and she's getting ready to kind of basically coup de gras you at this point. Um, I will say you're prone. Alright, I want my hands outstretched towards Joseph. Okay, sure. Um, it is now Aldous' turn. 
Um, we everyone, oh, all wait, of the, shit. There's all of them are looking very now. yeah. All of them are looking very hurt. Even the queen looks pretty bad. That wound from the orc was quite bad. <laughs> um. Okay, I'm gonna. Wait, I'll turn, uh... I'm gonna run like thirty feet away from okay. this guy. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he rolls a five on of his attack of opportunity, so. I can oh. That off. Okay. Um, well done. And <laughs> and um, then I'll turn around and as he goes to swing, I'll just sprint away and I'll lob a firebolt at him, the one who just tried to think. Okay. Oh, that's bad. First bad. Uh, that's... Hold on, let me check. No, that misses. Damn it. <laughs> just dodges to the sides and... <laughs> oh, oh, uh, the incredible mark. <laughs> the goblin boss... Is she smart enough to do this? She's smart enough to do this. She turns around, grabs Joseph Spinman, picks him up, and puts a knife underneath his throat. I, she has to make a strength check. I'm wearing plate mail. No, she doesn't. <laughs> You're conscious. <laughs> You're conscious. That's even worse. That's dead how weight. small is... She's how very small. small. She's not moving you. She's just kind of got your head and... You have a child. You know all about dead weight, boy. <laughs> I do know all that dead weight. A goblin is strong enough to do this. She's got you. I was is more questioning... Goblins can't even use two-handed weapons. Are they fuck strong enough to do that? Yeah, she's, she's just picking... She's not dragging him anywhere. She's just got him, like, in a headlock kind of thing oh, and no, kind no, of... Okay. And, like, got a knife under his throat. <laughs> <laughs> the way you made it sound. No, no, no. She's not picking like, him up. No, that's insane. Him the fuck off. No, she's not that strong. <laughs> so she, she's she got Joseph Spinman. She kind of... She, she's not moving anymore. She just got him. Like, ah, give me the treasure! He dies! Uh... She's she's yeah she's kind of standing on you at this point, and she maybe she I don't know she'll probably move off of you kind of thing. No one's saying I anything. Say anything. Okay okay no, okay okay. Nick Nick we should we should we we should, we. Should. Oh. Okay, I'll get the tr I'll get the jug for you. Mark moves away towards the tent. The two goblins don't do anything at this point. I'm gonna kind of take you guys out of initiative at this point. Get a up! Um, Joseph, I need while you to make. While moving towards, while moving towards the tent, Mark's gonna tell Nicholas, please, please think, think of something, think of something. Um, of ideas. Tele telepathically. Joseph, um, I need you to make another death saving throw. Right. Okay, so that's one success. Should I cover them with mayonnaise? Okay. Are <laughs> Alduis, are you gonna do anything? What's that? Are you gonna do anything? <laughs> I swear, um, you're the one making these edits. I'm a bit stuck on what to do. I, I can't do any spells. Silver Fang is just standing there, kind of. She doesn't know what to do at this point. She's never been in this situation. She's just like. Dishonorable goblins! Silver Fang's standing next to the leader, aren't they? Yeah, she's like right here. Here, if I give you. All right, I want to just yell now and try and shove the thing off. Off Joseph. You want to try to shove the the boss goblin off of Joseph. Yeah. Okay, make. I think it's for shove. You make an attack roll. Fuck. 
Where is that? Shove is uh, athletics or acrobatics contested by there. Or something. Okay. It's the same as the grapple. Okay. Yep. Go ahead. Ath- uh. Or no, it's like uh, I don't know. Uh, no, I, I think you're I right. The, I think I get the the grapple roll roll backwards all the time. Hold on. This is important because Jesus Christ this could kill one of you. Shoving under ninety five. Uh, where? Nope, that's cover. Shoving. Use an attack charge to be special. Uh, uh, you make a strength athletics check contested by the strength athletics or dexterity acrobatics check. I also want the orc woman to attack as well at the same time. Okay. The way, yeah, now. Yep, okay. So she makes. Does that give me it. advantage on the roll? Can I also I throw a fireball if, like, if you shout now, I don't know what's what you meant by that. I kind of missed that part, maybe. Uh, make so okay. So this is all happening at the same time. So we need to structure this yeah. very carefully. Mike's gonna butt in as well. Okay, so he says now. She figures it out. Um, she goes to attack the boss goblin. You go to attack. What are you attacking? Me. Or... No, 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 Alduis. Sorry. Um. If she's going to attack the boss one, I'll also uh, That's try to she's... fire a fireball at the boss one. Okay. Make your shove. It's a 10 for the grapple. Grapple shove. Use us. Okay. 15. She beats it. So she's not moved back. And she goes to attack um, Joseph. She has advantage. Hey. However, she can't pierce your armor. Just and just breaks off the because like the shove was enough because she had you at the neck. The shove was enough to dislodge her aim. Um, the orc attacks her. She misses. Alduis, you also miss. Fuck. <laughs> Um, we're still on an issue at this point. Out of the tent. Okay. Mayonnaise cork uncorked. Mayonnaise cork. You can't do that. Yeah. Why not? You can't because because you've already used water. water. Yep. You've already ate some honey out of it. No, you oh. smelled honey out of it. You didn't eat honey out of it. We should have opened it as well. Nope. You smelled honey, not ate it. Oh, in that case, the jug mayonnaise thing is not going to work. Nope. In that case, Mark's just going to rush in. Okay. Um, Bonus action to change his focus. What are you doing? The thing that increases the reach. Okay. And he is going to stabby, stabby at the boss goblin from all the way over here with the okay. dagger. Roll for attack. Well, that was lucky. So the Dalsim hand goes... And you stab the, her. Okay. Damage. And you stab her right in the eye. Just as she's about to go for another attack. And just... And she drops dead. Um, She's dead. The other two goblins seeing their boss die, die go and flee immediately. Are you going to take attacks for opportunity as they run away? I am. Okay, so you get... It can't be with your I, gun. I don't have my gun. I left it at the tent. I'm going to just sweep at its legs to try and cut into critical failure. <laughs> it jumps your legs as it runs away, so this one gets gets just books it. Full full 60 feet. Um, Joseph, what are you doing? Make your other attack. Uh, Mark, sorry. Uh, I'm laying uh, on the ground, sleeping. Unco yeah. Unconscious, not sleeping. Yeah, you kill it before it manages to get away, so as it turns its back to run, you gotta go <laughs> and stab it in the back. Um, it is not thinking, so it dies. Um, but the other one just runs as fast as it can, and it disappears into the jungle. Um, right. We're kind of still in initiative. You three have already taken an action. 
You said we were out of initiative. You're kind of yeah, out of it. I reinitiated. Yeah, you reinitiated. Right. Joseph, you need to take uh, are another. They still, like, are they still in range to hit? Like, uh, they... There's one left, and it's ran 60 feet and way out of your sight range. Like, I don't think you can even see it. Can you? No, you can't see it. It's still on the map. You just can't see it. Yeah, it, it's gone. Just, like, booked it as fast as it possibly is. Little lace could take it. Joseph, I need you to make me a death saving throw. I did. Uh, ooh. So that's your second failure. What is everyone else doing? Um, I'll just all run quickly up to Joseph and attempt to see if he can Find help wounds. anyway. Okay. Make yeah, a, yeah, just make hold a, anything in. Okay, make a medicine check. Oh, that was a good time for a twenty. <laughs> you, you, you're like looking at the amount of blood pouring out of Joseph. You kind of tear off his armor to find the wounds and bind them as quickly as you can. You taking have to tear off my armor. I have a ripcord. Oh yeah, he does. Yeah, so he, poof, in the like armor, like you've seen Joseph do this before when he was going to sleep. <laughs> Just go oh, hard, that's handy. <laughs> and then, <laughs> and you're kind of wrapping him up in in cause and bandages and things and you think you've stabilized him so you're stable you are not conscious you wake up uh well you will wake up at some point nice which is kind of beneficial given what's about to happen or was going to happen do i remove all the successes and failures yeah or? they all go away nice um uh, it's pretty good timing on the fact that the fight ended though because I'm going to have to run now. Mm -hmm. I have 20 minutes to get there. Okay. <laughs> After um, finishing getting ready. In fact, I kind of want to call it I, here I'd actually. I'm closing on a Sunday. Well, I'm closing this Sunday. I think I'm next one off. Because I've worked um, three in a row. As you kind um, of... Are we moving into a rest? We're going to move into a rest. You're also going to level I'm up to three. Because I'm going to like, picket fence the goblins <laughs> around and like you know, stomp them up. Oh, okay, so you make little, like, um, totems out of their bodies and things. Yeah. Scare off predators and things like that. Yeah, I, you do I, that. I'll just see if they've got any, like, you know... Give me one of the masks. ...aerials on them, or... He'll just go through them, see if there's anything useful. So I take the Queen's mask, which is, like, shattered on one side, and give yeah. it to Mark, because it looks cooler than the full one. Yeah. Each of the masks is different. It's got, like, um, eye vitreous fluid flowing down the front of it. I, I wipe it off. Does that mean we could all have Aldous. a unique mask? Um, each of the masks is very, like, they have a similar theme, though. They're all from, they all look kind of like crocodiles in, like, a kind of, like, a weird kind of way. They are, like, stylized. They're all different. Um, and each one looks like it was handmade and crafted using very, very crude tools to create them. But they all have a very similar, like, crocodile-ish theme. Um, in terms of what you find on them besides the masks themselves, they're carrying a number of things like scimitars, crude things made with, like, what looks like dinosaur bone and flint. Um, but you do I'm, uh, I'm gonna make a survival if I can rip anything off, but can you, like, uh, message me any stuff that I get from them? Just sure. so I can add it afterwards. Uh, yeah, yeah, what did you say, Dean? Have uh, they got any darts? Darts. Um, you do find a number of darts as you go through them. Uh, make me a perception check to see how many you find. But yeah, I rolled a 13, so just whatever. Just message me anything. I can sure. grab a hold of. So. Uh, 12. I'll see you later. Thanks for the session. It was really good. Bye, Eric. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Have a nice day. I'll be back on later. I'm only in for three hours. Like cool. Two. Uh, you play. find five small darts. You also find, as a result of that perception check, a small blowgun. It's goblinoid size. Probably would work really well for Mark, actually. It's the same kind of size category. I might get Joseph to look over it and make me a metal version. Oh, <laughs> uh, what? Right. You guys... Like a um, metal version of this blowgun I just found. Oh. Okay. As you kind of... S now that the jungle is quiet and the threat has passed. Why is this place is actually kind of safe? Nicholas? 
Did they have any yeah. potions or salves or anything on them? No, it doesn't look like it. Mm -hmm. You go through their stuff. They don't seem to be carrying much of anything monetary value on us. Just <sighs> junk. Yeah. Like, bo little pieces of bone and chicken things. Small packets of, like, dried meats and things of that nature. Mm, dried uh, meats. <laughs> Don't eat meats from goblins. We're going but, to ask Axbeak. No. Uh, Axbeak's okay. Bird okay. Goblin meat bad. Don't eat anything in their packs either. They sometimes eat humanoids. Yeah, but I'm a cobra. Hmm. <laughs> Then maybe I'll eat you. Shouldn't eat sentient races. Mm -hmm. um, I thought we had the axe beak meat anyway. You, you do have the axe beak meat, yeah. You've also got an Allosaurus kind of roasting in the sun at the moment. Oh, there we go. And do we feel safe? There's no more rattling in the woods? Not at the moment, no. Roll to 14. Mm. On the I'm perception? gonna hide... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna hide the alchemy jug. Okay, so you take the time to kind of hide it on your person, I assume? Um, sure. I'll drop it in my bag of holding now. Uh, make me an intelligence check. Everyone who's conscious on a one for Aldous. Yeah. Sixteen. Mark. Mark of the natural twenty. Mark, Mark knows it all. Yeah, looking, you know what you know. Looking over at the carnage and kind of looking around the, the general vicinity in the area around you and the jungles and things. And some of the things you know that are in the jungle, such like undead. You think you think having rotting carcasses out in the open like this might attract something more dangerous um, than than what's already present. We should put it in the pit. Look over the Allosaurus, which is larger than the pit. Okay, maybe it won't fit in the pit. Look, that were those weird little fishies in the river. Should we toss the other soils in the river? Yeah, that sounds like a plan. Don't think I can lift it in one go, though. Yeah. Oh, good idea. And Silverfang goes over to um, help you kind of move the Allosaurus. Between the three of you, I'm um, sorry, four of you, are still conscious. Um, you leave Joseph in one of the tents, I assume, and you grab the Allosaurus like corpse and slowly kind of drag it over and then to the to the river's edge and push it in um, and it sinks very slowly and you see as it does disappears it, does it float at the at first uh first yeah it, it would do it easy first enough for me to move around for mr can to push it to the center of the river um yeah, I'll let you do that. So you kind of get it, get it to the point where you're at the edge of the river and you slowly push it into the in the rest of the way. Once it's in there, you kind of push it the rest of the way to the middle of the river. It's too heavy for me to normally lift, but once yeah, it's way too much. it should be easy enough to manipulate. Yeah, buoyancy drop, drops the weight on it, so you can kind of push it. Into, once you get that far, you kind of get it to the middle of the river, and it slowly begins, as it gets to the middle, it slowly begins to sink. As you see blood from underneath it begin to pool upwards, just on the edge of the rivers, as you see every so often, just this little thing, fish, come up from underneath and then poke the head down and then back down again. Is it kind of like they're chewing it out from underneath it? It's a slow process, though, but as it sinks beneath the waves, it disappears. There's just the axe beak and the number of the goblin corpses left. I assume you do something similar with the rest of them, kind of chuck them into the rivers and things like that. Um, oh, yeah, and you, the, and the you, remainders you, of them. Yeah, we've and you, cut up one of them already. Yeah, yeah, and you cut up the axe beaks 
flesh and take everything you can kind of thing. Take the time to kind of build all that stuff. Um, uh, axe beaks make good jerky. I'm going to show you how. And um, Silverfane kind of takes the time to kind of set up drying racks. Oh, stain light, yes? Yeah. Oh, and then something else comes out at us. Mm, good. Good. Mm, your your lizard man friend is not good looking good. He'll wake up tomorrow, though, I think. Um, I think I've misjudged you slightly. Mm, I'm glad you're here. Mm, good in a fight! <laughs> Good try. Mm. Well, mm. killing goblins, good. Good for you. Builds character. Ah, she claps you on the shoulder. She's a lot stronger than you, so... <laughs> that, that mm. Character. Yeah, character. Mm. Ah, good. Yes. Sleep now! And she just starts taking things off and just goes to one of the the tents. Boop. Yeah, I'll, I'll give her a clap on the shoulder before she goes. Okay. Run! Ritual. Bang. <laughs> Look at that. Need to. Need to. That's not actually. Wow, you rolled a two. Wow. Right <laughs> four. Wow. Rolled a four minus two. Wow. Hmm. Need to do push-ups, I think. Um. But yeah, she retires for the evening, kind of thing. Um. I'm gonna stop the session there, because it's a good stopping point, because kind of, you kind of right before a long rest. Um. I will say that level yourselves up to three. Um, because yeah, you've done a lot of fighting, you've definitely earned it. Um, and we'll carry on the session next week. Thank you, my dude. You're very welcome. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed it, I did. The start Good. was a bit shaky, but then even we all started to wake up as a collective. Yeah, <laughs> everyone woke up, yeah. Uh, right. Uh, I'll stop the stream.